excited about the coaches that we were able to hire. I think starting with uh, Bobby Slowick as our offensive coordinator. Bobby is a, a tremendous coach. Right? He's a, one of the smartest coaches I've been around. Always looking to grow, looking to learn more. Bobby has helped me as a coach grow. So I'm very excited to see Bobby get with our players. And guys are going to be fired up. He brings great energy. He's a great teacher. And the guys he's been around, they, they love him. So uh, then on the defensive side, you know, adding Matt Burt, another guy's passionate coach. He's a really great teacher, energetic, uh, very knowledgeable coach. And I'm excited about what he can do, what he can bring to our team. I think our guys are going to love him. Then on the special teams front, you know, with Frank, Frank uh, Ross being there, the special teams did an awesome job in previous years there. And just to keep him in place, keep some continuity there with our special team, he, he's teaching the same style that I want to play on offense and defense. It's an aggressive attacking style, and I'm fired up to have, have Frank as well. Yeah, it's been awesome working with Nick. I mean, we hit the ground running. It hasn't been many breaks or much rest, so we've hit the ground running. Just and Nick has been awesome to work with. Nick is a uh, very knowledgeable guy, right? And I'm happy to be, I'm happy to be a part of a team that has a GM in place who has so much experience, right? So much to a guy that I can bounce ideas off of. He's seen it done many ways, seen a lot of different players, and just having his knowledge and his experience has really been very beneficial to me. So I'm, I'm excited to work with Nick, and it's been a, a very smooth transition, smooth process. Uh, communication has been awesome working with Nick, and we see the game the same way, which is, which is great. Right? We see the game the same way, see players the same, so it's uh, it'll be It'll be really nice uh, to continue to work with him. Yeah. Right, our coaches are back. They are going through uh, their scheme. Coaches are implementing schemes on the offensive and defensive side. So they're going through scheme work, but they're also evaluating free agents in the process as well. So we've talked about, you know, our profile of players that we that we look for. We've went through that process. So offensively and defense, we know the type of guys that we're looking for. So our coaches are just combing through to make sure that there are a lot of great free agents out there, but every free agent isn't for us. So we want to make sure we get guys who are scheme fits and guys who fit exactly what we want them to do. Uh, we'll see how that process goes and see how it fits. Uh, we have some good players there, and we're in San Fran, and we'll see. It's uh, you have guys that you know, right? That's uh, kind of it's easier to work with guys you know, but it's all about you know finding the right guys for the Texans, right? And that's what we're that's what we'll do throughout this process. About quarterback, all right? Quarterback, we have one quarterback on the roster. All right, so we have to add at that position, and we'll do it through free agency in the draft. We have to add two guys to our roster. So looking to find the best guys that we can add. Then and there's a good group of quarterbacks in free agency and in the draft. Yeah, it's, it's one it's one day at a time, all right? And I'm not really focused on what happened in the past, but where we are right now and moving forward with, with our organization, I feel really good about the staff we have in place. I feel good about our process and how we're working together to help build a successful team. And uh, what happened in the past is the past, but we're moving forward with what we have right now. I think I'm relatable to guys because I've been in these guys' shoes, right? I, I've played the game. I've been here through this combine process. I've played the game, played at a high level. I understand what players go through, not not only on the field, but it's off the field where guys are pulling in a lot of different directions. So understand that the the for you to be able to be a good coach, you have to be able to connect with guys, right? And it's not just about telling guys what to do. It's, 
being on that level with the guys where they have a true mutual respect for you and you guys truly feel that I have their best interests at heart. And that's the only thing I care about is, is developing great men on the field and off the field. And I'm, I'm indebted to those guys. I want to see them be as successful as possible, see them create great lives for their families moving forward. That's my connection with players. Uh, looking back at my career, is, you know, I, had a, I had a good run uh, playing. I had a lot of fun playing this game. Built a lot of great relationships with a lot of great teammates, great coaches. Right? And that's helped me through this process of where I am now, understanding that you build a team by as many different people coming from different diverse backgrounds, and you can always learn from other people. So that's kind of helped me shape to where I am, shape me to where I am now is just, man, making sure I'm in a position to learn from very different people, learn from as many people as possible to help us be as best we can as an organization. I think when you're evaluating quarterbacks, quarterback, different quarterbacks can do a lot of different things. And I think the system is built around the quarterback as opposed to trying to fit a, fit a quarterback into a certain system. So it's all about the player that you have, not only a quarterback, but that's a receiver. Like, what does that guy do well? Linebackers, what do they do well? And you put guys in positions as coaches, you put guys in position to be successful. So it's not about a system per se. It's about just making sure that player has the right tools and you're putting them in a spot where he can thrive. Yeah, being with the 49ers was, uh, I couldn't have asked for a better start on a coaching journey. Right? Kyle has been outstanding in, into my development as a coach. Right? He's, he gave me an opportunity as a QC to come in and just truly learn what coaching is truly all about. I thought I knew, I thought I could just come in and just start coaching right off the bat, but I, I'm very thankful for Kyle right, teaching me that you, have, you can't miss steps, right? So you have to go through every step if you want to be a, a great coach. So going through that QC phase, the linebacker coach, like hitting every step, that was the most important thing I could have done to allow me to be in the position I am right now. So definitely thankful for Kyle, thankful for John and the 49ers for the opportunities that they provided me and being able to to move up in an organization, such a first-class organization and everything that they've done with the 49ers. And I wish those guys nothing but the best. One more time. Yeah, I learned from their relationship with John and Kyle that to do things and to be successful in this league, it's all about collaboration. It's about putting egos to the side. It's about truly working together, GM, head coach, but also coaching staff, scouting staff. It's everybody being together. Everybody's opinion matters, right? Making sure everybody is inclusive of what we're trying to do and the players we're trying to bring in. So that is definitely a style that myself and Nick, that's how we operate, right? We're meeting every morning, making sure we're on the same page. We're making sure our coaches, our scouting department, Everybody's on the same page. Everybody is in collaboration to make sure we can be our best. Yeah, in 2017, uh, and it was a, a rough year there. We started, I think, 0-9 that year. And you saw when we acquired Jimmy, and towards the end of the year, you saw a quarterback came in and we won five straight games to end the season because you know, we added a very talented guy at the quarterback position. So it just teaches you that when you do have a, a bona fide quarterback, it helps you win games, helps you be successful. In the player acquisition phase, whether it's free agency, whether it's draft, 
To me, it's all about finding, building a profile of what you're looking for, right? And it's also finding guys who fit and understanding that a guy could be a great player, but how does he, right, 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 how does he fit into your philosophy of how you want to play football? So it's all about finding the right guys, whether free agency, draft, right? And it's about getting to know the player, right? I can appreciate talented guys, but I truly want to know the character of a guy, of who we're bringing into our team. Because if you, got the, if you have the right man, then we can, we'll have the right player. And I don't want to go through that process backwards just because a guy is a great player. If I, don't, if I can't talk to this guy and understand who he is as a man and what is his goals, Right? What does he aspire? What drives him? What is his why? I think that weighs heavily, more heavy on me than the actual talent of a player. Got time for more. I have not. I have not spent time with him. I don't know much about the situation. Uh, what I would say about it is. Uh, you know, someone's lives, lives was lost on whatever the situation is. And I think you just think about those families who lost a loved one and you put that at the forefront. And uh, that's, that's the most important thing. With the later round talent, that's where that's where I get most excited about the draft, right? I think the earlier guys, it kinda, they kind of separate themselves, and that's easy to see. But where you find value is those fifth, sixth round, seventh round, those picks right there. That's where you, for me, that's where you dig in. And you have to truly see what redeeming qualities do God have, whether it's speed, whether it's physicality, right, whether it's great hands, whatever that redeeming quality is. Can you see something in the kid that you can – help him develop and become better. That's where, for us, a guy like Dre Greenlaw, right, being able to get him late and now to see him play in an all-pro level, really pride, on, pride myself on helping develop him. Aziz Al-Shair, a free undrafted free agent, right, seeing you know, just a physical guy, a smart player, and being able to help him thrive and develop, those are the guys I truly I get excited about late in the draft. Yeah, my. It's different ways to teach different guys because all guys learn differently. I think the best way you teach guys is to allow them to teach you, all right? So, I, whatever I say to guys or how I try to coach a technique or whatever, if a player can relate it back to me, if a player can teach me, that's how I think you judge yourself as a teacher. If he can teach it back to you in the proper way, that's how you judge yourself as a teacher. Uh, Ran, my relationship with Rand Carthon is uh, we have a great relationship. Uh, our families are, are really close. Rand is a, is a great friend, a great mentor to me. Uh, I know Rand will be an awesome GM for the Titans because first and foremost, he's a great he's a great man. Rand is he's very relatable, very personable. Everybody's Rand's best friend. <laughs> he know he can connect with with anyone, right? And he's always has a, a a big smile on his face. But Rand knows talent. Rand knows how to evaluate talent. And working with him, it's been we were constantly talking about different players, who would we acquire, who we wouldn't acquire. So it was a lot of conversations over the years with Rand. And I'm pulling for Rand to do an outstanding job, except for two games out of the year. Yeah, so but. It'll be fun competing against him. The aspect of coaching I enjoy the most, it's, it's connecting with players. And it's about getting on the – it's about inspiring guys, right, seeing guys grow and develop. That's the most that's – that's, that's what drives me as a coach, right, to see a guy change the trajectory of his family by going out and playing football.